Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Hopefully everyone's having a great uh, beginning of a week. I'm really, really happy to be back. And uh, yeah, we're back on track. We're gonna keep on working. As I mentioned in the last video, I needed a couple of days just to uh, cool off and make sure that things are uh, okay, relax a little bit, get some rest. Uh, but now, energy is good. We're, we're ready to continue. And uh, before we continue though, today I wanna show you something real quick. Oh my God. I'm already starting with my allergies. Every time I start recording, I get my like my allergies. So this is the last week of uh, this month, of course. And uh, one thing that we're going to be working on or we're going to have this week is our live stream. <laughs> oh, my God. I say every single time I record, we get uh, the allergies. Um, am I allergic to recording then? Hmm, that's a that's a good question. So uh, I'm still not sure if we're going to have it on like late Tuesday, early Wednesday for you guys or late Wednesday. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, late Wednesday, early Thursday for you guys. So I'm going to let you guys know probably on, on tomorrow's video. Uh, I'm still need to, to plan a couple of things for this week. Uh, but yeah, um, look at this. I got so many suggestions, so many suggestions for all of the different things that you guys want me to uh, like take a look on. So this is going to be really cool because there's a lot of ideas that they really want to explore. Most of them, I would say like 90% of these suggestions are things that I know and that I can share with you guys. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, 3D content coming in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we're also going to do a a small project this week as well probably so yeah let's let's see how this goes now um today i want to talk about something that really 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 like it's one of my personal pet peeves and i'm gonna show you why pet peeve is that the right word it's like one of those things that i really hate when i see it done wrong and that's because i did it wrong when i was a student so let me pause here real quick Okay, so I went on digging on my uh, Facebook uh, account, um, and uh, this is a, a character that I did ooh, so long ago. Look at this. Almost 10 years ago, May 10th, 2012. I was learning. I was still a student, and uh, yeah, this is what it did. So if you compare this to like this guy right here, I would say that's quite an improvement. And this guy, it wasn't a lot of time. I probably spent like probably like five hours uh, in the whole thing. So if I had more time, I think I could get it even better. Uh, but as you can see, one of the things that I really liked about this character back in the day was the tattoo. Everyone was like, oh, that's a cool tattoo. It kind of looks like uh, Mike Tyson's and stuff. But this is a horrible, horrible, horrible way to do tattoos. And today I want to show you a very nice uh, trick that you can use for tattoos, war paint, any sort of like face decal that we um, tend to have. And this is an idea that I got from, um, from Monster Hunter, actually. I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter uh, lately, and uh, in Monster Hunter, one of the things that you normally get are face paint, like this. And they look nice. I mean, I wouldn't say they look like horrible or anything. They, they look okay. They just look like an overlay, though, and, and that's one of the things that I, I really don't like about this. So I want to show you like a very, very uh, cool effect that we can use to get our stuff to look a little bit better. So this is a character that I've mentioned I've been working on for a couple of uh, weeks now on, on one of my other classes. You might see him coming up in a very like, cool little uh, course that I'm preparing, uh, so stay tuned. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the layers, the face layer. I'm going to add a new layer, and we're going to add some like blue paint. So the first thing you would like to do if you're adding any sort of like, like character thing or whatever, you need to make sure that you get like the proper setup for your layer. So this is going to be my war paint or let's start with war paint first and then we'll do a, a tattoo. OK, so this is going to be a war paint. Now, usually when you put uh, paint on top of the skin, the paint will dry out. Right. So face paint. Uh, this is the one that, that kids usually get, like on parties and stuff, but if we go like tribal or something, you're gonna see that the texture that people usually like utilize for this sort of stuff, it's a lot grainier, it's a lot drier, like it, it dries on the skin, and, and we get this very like, very cool looking effects, right? It's not perfect, you're not never gonna see like a perfect silhouette on the effect. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the roughness here a little bit, to make it a little bit drier, something like this. And I'm gonna look for a nice tone for this paint, so I think I'm gonna go for like a bright, a semi bright blue, like half tone. Now I'm gonna go into my black mask right here, and here's where we need to start like designing our stuff. And there's a lot of things we can do. I really like this one. This looks, this one looks pretty cool. Um, you should always be respectful about where you get your reference from, because one of the worst things that could happen to you is that you see something cool like this one, and then you get like canceled on the internet because you know people are really, really aware of how respectful we need to be with uh, like cultures and tribes and stuff. So you don't want to do something that's like 
uh, overstepping a line. But if you see some like cool stuff like this over here, there's of course things that you can utilize. Like there's nothing wrong with utilizing things that you find, referencing things that you like. Uh, but always just just be mindful that you're doing it in a um, in, in the right way, in the proper way, right? Never never to mock or anything like this one. I really like this one. I think this one looks pretty, pretty cool. It's relatively simple. I think we can work with this. So let's go over here. I'm gonna go to my brushes. And the worst thing you can do, I used to do this all the time. The worst thing you can do is just use like a straight paint. Because as you can see, the detail that we're gonna get is super straight. It looks like I did like some sort of like computer generated stuff and it doesn't look as natural as you would like, right? So your selection of brush is gonna be super, super important. I really like this one, this dirt brush right here. It's really, really cool because as you can see, you get a very nice like feathery effect. Um, I'm actually gonna turn on my tablet real quick. I, I really want to do this with pen pressure. Where's my glove? Oh, I don't have it here. And one thing that you definitely want to do or, or turn on is the um, it's a symmetry, right? So I'm going to turn the symmetry on, as you can see. This one, actually, this character, when I started working on it, he didn't have the symmetry exactly because the horns are asymmetrical. So you might need to go here and modify the X uh, uh, symmetry right there. But you should get something, something like this. Now, if we take a look at the reference, you can see that we have like a really strong, like when you when you press here and then you just move it forward and then it kind of like fades over here. That's the kind of stuff that we want to mimic. So I'm going to go really strong here and then I'm just going to fade. Really strong and just fade. Really strong and just fade. And again, really strong and just fade. And the reason I'm going to uh, I'm gonna doing this is I want to have like a really like saturated amount of fade right over there. So that one, that one looks cool. Then we have this main line, which is a little bit uh, like stronger. We still have a little bit of a fade up here. So we go here and we kind of like fade out like this. And then it goes all the way to the tip of the nose. Like this. And then on the mouth, as you can see, it doesn't go on the little like a uh, fulcrum thing that we have there. So I'm going to make the small, the, the brush smaller. Paint the mouth, and then on the, a little bit on the chin, like this. And then he has like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven little like dots over here. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five. I'm doing them a little bit uh, bigger. So let's go like smaller. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. As you can see, a simple pattern, simple like uh, like paint uh, effect, and it's looking quite nice. Over here, it's looking a little bit weird. So let's let's fix it. I'm gonna press X to to go to black, and that's gonna erase because remember, all of this we're doing it on a mask. So the mask allows me to to fade a couple of things if I need to, and we get this very very nice effect. So this is something that a lot of people would be able to do. And it looks okay. I'm not going to say it looks wrong. It looks okay. Uh, you can see, like you saw in the Monster Hunter uh, video or, or like little image, this is what they do. But I want you guys to be better. I want you guys to do just a little extra things that are going to make this thing pop even more. So the first thing is height. We definitely want to push the height here, here on the uh, on the character up a little bit. And the height, as you can see, it's gonna it's gonna give it a little bit of a bump. So now the the paint, it's gonna look as if the paint is actually like adding volume to the skin because it's another layer of something, right? You usually don't want to go super high. I'm gonna go 0 0.05, just a very small height. But you can see the difference there. Like it, it is there. You, you're seeing the little bit of the bump. Now we need to break up the skin or break up the paint because as you can see, this is saturating and going into every single pore, every single place. And that's not something that you normally use. There's two ways you can do this. I'm going to show you both. The first one is with the generator, just a simple dirt generator. If you just add a dirt generator, or, oh, let's just right click, add generator. And if you just add a dirt generator, hey, where is it? Add generator. Generator. Whoop. I'm just going to use the dirt generator. As you can see, this one breaks everything up, right? But if you multiply this generator, very similar to what we do with our tricks, with the, like the, the cloud things and stuff, you can see that this breaks up very, very nicely everywhere on the skin. So and now it's just a matter of finding the perfect balance. I usually like to invert the generator here so that the more I go here, the, the more like little details that I'm going to have. 
And as you can see, this is going to start breaking up the tattoo, or not the tattoo, the, the war paint, and you're going to see this sort of like very nice breakup on the skin. So now, not all of the pores, not all of the little like wrinkles and stuff will have the same amount of, of war paint. And just look at the difference it's, this makes from like a very like solid flat effect to a like super nice, uh, interesting look right here. Now, that's one way. That's a simple. If you just want to do a simple, cheap way, that's the one. But I want to show you another one real quick. So I'm going to add a fill layer. And instead of using a generator, I'm going to use a crack effect. So as you can see, we have this grunge cr concrete cracked. And what we can do is we can also multiply this one. And this grunge concrete, this is an alpha channel. So we can actually like multiply this and get it into a more, see that? So if we, now we can actually see, you, you, you've probably seen this, when you have like paint on yourself or like moth and you start moving your face, it cracks and it creates this more nice and realistic uh, effect with the, with the whole skin. Now, the only problem is, as you can see, the uh, the balance right now is very gray. So I'm probably going to have to push this a little bit like higher over here on, on the balance so that we get a little bit more of the paint and we leave the recesses or the cracks like uh, further down. Look at that. Look at that beautiful effect. Now, on top of this, you could also add a, a dirt layer. Like you're, you're totally welcome to add a like a dirt generator right here. And if you multiply this one as well, and you, um, in this case, we, we definitely want to invert this. Now we're going to have both of them, right? So, so you can play around and, and add both of them. But I really want to show you or wanted to show you that like a crack effect that you can get because that's really, as you can see, it's going to really, really, really make it look like, uh, like the paint is, is working. Another thing that I strongly recommend is adding a paint layer at the end. And again, this is where the artistic hand comes into place because now what you can do is you can go and say, hey, maybe without symmetry, maybe he he kind of like got rid of one of this like little spots on the on the right side, right? Or maybe like he has a cut over there, like this one, right? So maybe pain didn't get there. So we erase the little piece right there. And this is the kind of stuff that you won't be able to do uh, with generators. You, you actually have to go there and, and, and make it like, for instance, here, there's another bit of the scar. So let's just show it. Okay, and that's gonna really, really, really bring everything. You, I would expect there to be a little bit less paint on this area, which is where, where the, um, where the face is gonna be like bending and stuff. So I can even like, it's kind of like sculpting. See how it's, it's kind of like sculpting more, more specific details over there. And again, that's the kind of st stuff that's, it's gonna really se uh, like separate you from all of the other artists that only just like the basic stuff or the basic generators. Because as you can see here. We're going to get a really, really, really cool effect. So, yeah, that's the warping. That's what I would do for warping. Now, let's imagine this is not a warp paint and this is actually a tattoo, right? So I'm going to duplicate this uh, real quick. Let me turn one of this off. And the only difference, the only thing that I'm going to change, because I would expect the tattoos to have something similar, is I'm not going to be using the concrete. I'm just going to be using the, the dirt because usually, like, the tattoos are going to be really, really solid. And I'm definitely, definitely going to change the blending mode because one of the things, and I want to show you, that's why I got this one right here. One of the things that happens is when you get a tattoo, I don't have any, but when you get a tattoo, uh, the ink ends up like fading into the skin. So even if the, if the ink was like, like coal or black when you got it the first time, after a couple of months or years, the, the ink will start like fading a little bit, right? Between all of the, of the layers of skin. So it doesn't matter how strong the ink was at first, it would always fade. And this is what I want to show you right here. We're going to change this to an overlay, for instance, so that the color fades a little bit. It's not going to be as saturated. And it's very important to lower the intensity. Now it's going to look a lot better, right? See that? Pretty, pretty, pretty cool because it looks like it's part of the skin. You can even see that we're, uh, in this case, actually, I would probably turn off roughness so that the skin um, roughness is what we're seeing at the end of the day. Um, and yeah, that's, 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 the it. <laughs> that's it. It's just those little deals, those little details, those little subtleties that you need to be very mindful whenever you're uh, doing character work that are gonna really, really push your character to the next level. So yeah, the render, I know that the render that you're gonna see from this guy is a little bit like more advanced than we're seeing here. I just took it into Marmoset, a couple of light setups. If you want me to explore it uh, and show you how I did the render, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do so. But as you can see, I mean, this looks pretty, pretty cool. So hopefully these tips are uh, useful to you guys. This uh, couple of 
quick ways to do again tattoos and uh, and war paint which is very very common for characters you're gonna see this a lot in like a medieval style characters or, or tribal style, or style, style characters i'm gonna keep going down the list of all of the different things that uh, that you guys want to see i'll keep you guys posted about the live stream that we're gonna have this week remember on the day of the live stream we won't have a video so if you uh, go into the channel and you don't see anything new make sure to check on the live stream because it's not in the same section it's like on a different section so make sure to check the live stream section so that you see uh what we were up to and uh, that's it happy to be back guys thank you for all your kind messages make sure to like share subscribe we're almost at 21,000 subscribers hopefully we get there by the end of uh this week can we do that maybe i don't know you guys decide so thank you very much and i'll see you back tomorrow Bye bye